city. Got a lot of drugs, but I ain't get it. Do a OVO. YouTube, what's good with y'all? It's your boy Flock, man. I'm back with another video. Hey, today's Sunday. <clears throat> it's uh 12 o'clock. 12 01. Hold up. Focus, homie. Yeah, 12 01. I'm on the phone, so I don't mind that. But uh, uh yeah, man, it's Sunday. It's been a couple days since I posted, and I'm gonna have a little talk with y'all today, bruh, you feel me? I'm gonna just talk to y'all about some stuff. And yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe if y'all knew. I appreciate the love. I pre I'm, I'm gonna talk about all that, but let's, let's get into it. I'm, I'm gonna see y'all when I get outside so we can talk. Look, I ain't even outside yet, but don't mind the noise. I'm gonna speed all this up, but I'm tired of this building, Slim. But we gonna talk, we gonna talk, let's get it. YouTube, what's up with y'all, man? It's your boy Flock, man. Back with another video. Hey, let's chat, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, man. So look, we gonna get straight into it. First of all, like, comment, subscribe if you new. I know I probably already said it, but I'm saying it again. But uh, yeah, I just woke up, bro. I just brushed my teeth. I did all that. Damn. But man, man, let's get into it. So a lot of people ask me why haven't I been posting? Where have I been? Stuff like that. So. I'm gonna tell y'all the rip one. I've been chilling, bruh. You know what I'm saying? My my first initial plan was to just take a break. You know what I'm saying? Take a little two or three day break. Cause y'all know me, I go crazy, bruh. You hear me? I go crazy with the videos, so I drop a lot of videos. So I was like, I was gonna get myself, I owed it to myself to get myself two or three days off. Like just take a little chill pill, you feel me? But it turned it ended up being longer than that because when I try to record. It's nothing to record. I'm not even gonna BS y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the second, re that's what that's lead me to my second reason. This school, Clark Atlanta. A lot of people that watch me, y'all know that I go to college, bro. I'm in college and I go to Clark Atlanta, and I don't like this school, bro. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be all the way thorough with y'all, and I'm not about to associate or put this school and attach it to my YouTube if I don't like it. You feel me? I'm not about to force no content. None of that, bro. That's why you don't never see me walking around doing these public interviews. Now, mind you, first semester, between August and December, I was willing to do that. I was trying to do that, but as time went by, I just started, I just started hating the school, bro. And it's a lot of reasons. It ain't just about, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a school nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to cuss, but I'm not a school dude. You feel me? And... It's not, it's not really because of that, it's just the school in general. And I, I be saying, you know, if you go to Clock and you watch this and you go to Clock Atlanta, you see every day, they had these these college interviews. I mean, these high school uh, high schoolers coming to, uh, I said interviews, I'm tripping. They had these uh, college tours for these high schoolers, these uh, freshmen. I mean, these uh, incoming freshmen. And it's, uh, damn, I can't talk, that's tough. Uh, the, the incoming freshmen and the, the high school seniors from their high school and all that, they had them come up here and tour the school. But I be wanting to tell them youngest the real, bro. This school not what it seems, bro. You know what I'm saying? So if you watching this, and if you come across this this video, and you want to come to clock, I'm going to tell you honestly. And some people's perspective, you got you can't just go off my perspective, but this is my my perspective of the school. But again, you if you don't want to go, go, uh, go, from, go through mine, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? But my perspective on the school is it's trash, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this school is one of them schools where it's only good for you if you a party a person. If you like to go out and party all, all the time, you know what I'm saying? Because once that stuff die down, the school is dry. Now, mind you, they got some good, they do be having some good events, you know, doing homecoming. They do bring some good people out for homecoming or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Celebrity wise, they do bring out some good people. I ain't gonna lie. Because Atlanta, Believe it or not, Atlanta is the city where most celebrities live in. Most celebrities pop out at, you know what I'm saying? So they good at that part. But outside of that, you know what I'm saying? This school is just money hungry. They just want your money. They don't care about you. It's unprofessional. You know what I'm saying? The living, the living conditions are trash in my opinion. And this is my this is my second year. This is not my first year. You know what I'm saying? This is my second year here, bro. You know, my first year here, I wasn't doing YouTube, so you didn't really, nobody never really seen me document nothing me, with me coming here. But this is my second year. And yeah, man, this is my second time, second attempt going here, and I still don't like it. I thought me leaving and coming back, they go, all right, I might like it, bro. I might, maybe it was just me. 
Maybe it was just me. But nah, it's the school in my opinion. But some people like the school. Some people don't though. Some people feel the exact same way that I feel about this school. That it's trash. You know, it's unprofessional. It's all about money. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to inform the people that's that's incoming. Like that's really going to start. That's going to start coming here. Like I see a lot of people on the gram on social media saying like they can't wait to go here, bro. Trust me, I'm telling you. You only you you got to see it for yourself. Like I can only say without when I got to say right now. But you got to physically see it yourself, bro, because. Bro, you gonna see, bro. I'm telling you, once you go here, you gonna see, bro. The school not what it seems on the internet, bro. You might see clips of this school on TikTok. You might see it on Instagram, uh, Twitter, wherever. You might see how it's all lit, bro. But in all honesty, it's unprofessional. You know what I'm saying? It's in the it's in the trenches, bro. That's my thing. That's another thing. I thought I left the trenches to come to a better place. No, bro. I'm leaving the trenches to go to somebody else's trenches. We are. You are. The school is literally inside the trenches, bro. It shit, it shits go down in this school, bro. And again, I don't mean to cuss, bro. I'm, I, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? But shits go down at this school, bro. Two to, two to three, pe no, three to four people died in two, in one, one school year alone this year, bro. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, I'm not a parent, bro. But if I was, I would not send my kid here just off the strength of my experience, bro. You know what I'm saying? Parents send their kids here to be safe, to get a real college experience. Now, mind you, you do get that aspect of the partying, sense of college, you know, the stuff you see on, on movies. You do get that. I'm not going to lie. You do get that out of this school. Like, you do, you come here, you will have fun if you like to go out and go to parties and all that stuff. You will have fun in that part. You know what I'm saying? But if you are all around student that do, that do go out here and there, but don't really care for it, you just want to live, you just want to go to school, do your work, and be safe while you're doing it, you know what I'm saying? You're going to hate it, bro. I'm telling you, bro. And that's me. Like me, I'm a, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to label myself an intro or extrovert, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I don't label myself that, bro. But I could deal with people, but I don't deal with people. If you get what I'm saying? And I could do, I could deal with parties to go to parties, but I don't do parties. You feel me? So it's more so like, I'm a nigga that go out. I could go out, bro. But I, I I'm not with it too much. You know what I'm saying? I like to have my own space, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm about, I'm about recording, get my content, bro. And my content now don't always gotta be revolve around partying and going out. You know what I'm saying? And I could just, I just like to go out and record me going to the mall, or show y'all what pieces I'm picking up, stuff like that, bro. I don't, I don't like to surround my stuff around me just going out partying. Uh, doing doing things that just get you quick dopamine, bro. Drinking and smoking. I don't do none of that, bro. That ain't me, you know. So, yeah, man. And you know, and I again back to back to the real topic. I apologize, man. I'm apologize to everybody that watching me. And I ain't posting like I'm a I'm a check right quick for y'all. No cuts either, bro. You know what I'm saying? No cuts, no cuts. I'm on more vlog. I'm on more vlog. Let me go to vlog TV, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all been subscribing. I ain't been posting, bro. I have not been posting. Y'all still been subscribing. Y'all some real ones, Slim. You feel me? Y'all some real ones, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I ain't posted in 11 days, bro. I hopefully y'all... Oh, let me... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all can't see all that. You feel me? <laughs> y'all can't see all that. Hopefully y'all can see that right there. April... What that say? April... Hold on. Let me see. April 12th, I think that's it. Hopefully y'all can see that. You know? Hopefully y'all can see that, bro. I don't like how the camera be like, you know what I'm saying? You don't be seeing it for real. But yeah, I ain't posted since April 18th. April 18th, and it been like, it been 12 days, today make 12 days. And the last time I took a real long break was like a month, bro. I'm never doing that again, bro. That's why I was just like, I just like was thrown off, not at myself, it was kind of myself, but at the same time, I couldn't really be mad because I already know the situation. I can't get no real content out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not from out here, so I can't just go this place or that place. You know what I'm saying? You are in Atlanta. If you from Atlanta and you go to school out in Atlanta and you live in Atlanta, if you go to, if it's, if you, if one of them things apply to you, you already know, bro. Being out in Atlanta, you gotta, you gotta spend money everywhere, bro. Especially if you're in college, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta spend lifts and stuff everywhere the way you going, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not doing that, bro. One lift from from clock to all the way to Lenox, damn near thirty dollars, bro. You feel me? Like that's how active the traffic is in Atlanta. How bad it is. Like you know, I've been, I got, and I got folks that live out here. So I've been was told like 
the traffic and all that that aspect of living out here is bad bro and i already knew like dc our traffic is bad but it ain't it ain't touching atlanta bro atlanta new york they got some of the worst traffic ever bro you feel me i would hate to live in new york bro they traffic is atrocious i ain't even been on new york but i just know bro you feel me they population and you feel me but they ain't the point but yeah man you know what i'm saying if you if you thinking about coming to clock bro don't just don't come in there come to this joint thinking that it's sweet thinking it's gonna be the best school in the world because I, I promise you when i first graduated from high school that was what what's this 2023 two years ago you know when i graduated from high school bro i wish i should have i wish i could have like really thought sat down and thought about why i really wanted to go because boy now that i look back i don't regret anything though don't get me wrong i don't regret nothing but looking back i should have just weigh my options a little bit more because i could have went to some other schools but i felt like that would have been way better for me bro and i probably would have actually liked college bro but college ain't for me school ain't for me in general school ain't never been for me bro i always hated school bro i ain't gonna lie but i came out here trying to be an adult bro you know what i'm saying being an adult about this situation stop being a little boy in the head like you know what i'm saying school ain't for me how you gonna say that you ain't never give it a chance bro you never tried it so that's why i came out to college try to give it a chance bro see it see it all the way through and it ain't for me bro i'm gonna be real you know what i'm saying but one like and people that's people that's in that situation if you feel like school not for you or something not for you don't say it until you try it. and then once you try it and you make your mind up then yeah you good slim long as you try it bro you feel me but yeah that's why i haven't been posting because for one i'm at this bummy school i can't get no real good content for y'all and i'm not about to just throw anything at y'all some boring content i'm not about to do that bro you feel me another thing is i was taking a break but it just took longer than expected bro but yeah man i'm back i'm about to start giving y'all more content about to start producing more content for y'all <sighs> it's sunday man tomorrow may 1st it's a new month man hey and i'm gonna give y'all some words of encouragement bro because you know it's it's tough times nowadays for people man you gotta check you gotta check y'all gotta check up on y'all folks bro you know what i'm saying check up on y'all peoples bro because you never know who going through what bro everybody go through something but one it could take that one person to talk to you and that person could be good bro you know what i'm saying you never know a person might just want you to talk to them and they're gonna be straight bro i'm telling you but tomorrow may 1st i just want y'all to understand that i appreciate everything y'all been doing for me all the support what is the same i don't care bro you've been supporting me you just supporting me you know what i'm saying you you take a glimpse at my channel i appreciate it bro because as long as long as i'm getting acknowledged in the youtube world and you know what i'm saying that's all that matters bro we growing as the day go by you know what i'm saying we at 2.13 2138 i think you know what i'm saying we were just at 2000 you know what i'm saying so that's good bro you know what i'm saying it's a slow grind but i like the slow grind bro and i'm just here to tell y'all once i touch down back in the city oh my goodness bro i'm telling you i'm telling you the content about to go stupid bro the content you about to, it's about to be some stuff you never seen before bro i promise you the hell why did y'all get to making all that noise did y'all right there i think that's like the control the l or something i don't even know that joint just came on loud as hell but uh yeah bro when i go home when i touch down content about to go stupid i'm telling you bro i'm not even lying to y'all bro i ain't even about to sit here and bs y'all bro the content about to go crazy bro and yeah man words of encouragement man stick stick to your script bro you know what i'm saying stick to your script and you can look at youtubers like for example if, if it's some people that do actually look at me as motivational like look at me as dang he make me want to do youtube first thing first i appreciate that my boy you know what i'm saying i don't really expect nothing like that but i'm just using an example bro when you see a youtuber or you see anybody that that motivates you to do something bro just be you know just use them as motivation keep them in that category of motivation don't look at them as dang they got something i want and it make you demotiv it, it demotivate you or discourage you to do some things but you gotta just look at people as motivation bro because at the end of the day god give everybody their own book you know what i'm saying everybody got their own everybody got their own life everybody book already written out for them bro you feel me so you can't uh you can't compare yourself 
you can't compare your life to somebody else's life because not only do you not want to do that, you don't know what people go through, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they might look they might look good on the uh, internet. Yeah, they might have good things on the internet, but behind closed doors, they could be going through hell and back. Some worse things that you don't even touch. You know what I'm saying? You might go through stuff, but because you're so worried about what they got, like materialistically wise, you don't know what they going through mentally. They probably could be going through some worse stuff than you. So never compare yourself to nobody life. Never say you want to be like somebody. Just always use what they got or always use what they what they do as motivation. That's what I do. And I ain't gonna lie, I feel victim to that. You know, comparing my life to other people's lives, bro, because they had some things I wanted to, wanted to have. Some some YouTubers had cars I wanted. Some YouTubers got the cameras I want, you know what I'm saying? But you could all do that and I used to always compare myself to them. You can't do that, bruh. Cause you will always fall into depression. You will always get discouraged to do some things. You may want to do, you may want to vlog, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I, oh yeah, that's another thing I'm speaking on. But uh, you may want to vlog. But because you see a person do the same type of vlogs you're doing and they get more views than you, you don't want to do it no more because dang, I'm doing the same thing they doing. And they, mine's not paying off, bro. You got to stick to the script. You got to stick to yourself, bro. You got to worry about yourself. Use them as motivation in the grind, bro. You know what I'm saying? Use them as motivation for you to grind, bro. Never use them as a as a coping mechanism to to make you feel better about yourself or make you feel less less than yourself. Like, make you feel worse than yourself, bro. Never use them as that, bro. Because at the end of the day, you will always feel if you do that, bro. But, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, and another thing I want to speak to y'all about is... The DC videos. I meant to speak about that before the motivational speak words and all that. But um, the DC videos. Now, I'm going to still do those. And I think I already spoke about this. But if I didn't, I'm going to speak about it again. I do want to do those, bro. But I want to vlog. And that's what I'm going to do. And my vlog is going to be very entertaining, bro. You know, and I want to, like, spiral out to different videos. I don't just want to do sit-down videos on DC all the time. We all know I'm from DC, bro. We already know what, how DC get down. So... I don't gotta keep sitting down talking about it 24/7 for y'all, but I'ma still do it because I damn, I damn sure get a lot of con uh, comments. You know, I was about to say content. A lot of comments, steady asking me, they want more, they want more DC videos. We need more DC videos, bro. I got y'all, bro. St I'ma still give it to y'all, but they not gonna be at a consistent rate how I was doing it. I was, I'ma tell y'all my process and how I used to record it, bro. I realized I used to sit down, I used to sit down and record six to seven videos. A different topics about the city one time at one one period of time i would sit down i would realize sit down i'm gonna tell y'all i'm in college right so i'm a y'all see where i record i'm recording my classrooms or different type of rooms so i go i go find a classroom to record in i realize i will sit down and i will i'm gonna show y'all bro hopefully i got some notes of them bro you know what i'm saying hopefully i got the notes bro uh let me see here you go right here this some this some slight stuff you know what i'm saying Hold on, let me turn the camera. Look, bro. You know, I got Stop Glorifying the Devil. Y'all see that video. Frey Alpo, y'all seen that video. Uh, DC Slang Part 2, y'all seen that video. The Origins of DC Go Go. Did I drop that? I don't think I dropped Did I drop that? I don't know. Five popular pages in the DMV. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro. So, I'm just showing y'all, like, I really I will put. All the videos I'm doing in my, my notes, and I just sit down and just talk about it, bro. And I do all of them at once. If it's seven videos, I'm going to do seven, all straight seven videos. Edit them and schedule them for each video, each day to drop. You know what I'm saying? That's how I used to do it. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to flood this junk with these straight DC videos, bro. And I was peeping it like, it was cool, though. They cool videos. You know what I'm saying? I was finding my lane, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm messing with this, bro. My fault. We, we trying to stop cussing. But, yeah, uh. Yeah, I was finding my lane like, yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm messing with this, I'm messing with this, you know what I'm saying? And I was finding my groove with it, but I was looking too much like Ant, bruh, you know what I'm saying? I heard one person say that, like, you looking like Ant, bruh, and it wasn't even my, my attention. Somebody off the rip, I remember, before I even did those type of videos, somebody, somebody personally and somebody that watched me on, on, the, on the tube, bruh, they was like, really, I commented, it was like, you should do a video on, uh, your top 10 favorite your t who you think your top 10 artist is from dc merlin and those was my first two videos i did on these you know what i'm saying i did those and i just started going crazy with them uh dangerous hoods you know what i'm saying uh uh five popular places five worst you know what i'm saying like different things i was doing so i was just getting comfortable with it getting comfortable in my shoes with it you know what i'm saying so it was just easier for me to do but 
especially being here like i said i can't get no real content out here so it was easy for me to just go in the classroom do sit down videos on dc and i knew y'all was messing with them bro y'all still mess with them as y'all as i can see but I, i'm gonna still do them i'm not just going to neglect them i'm just not going to abandon them i'm gonna still do them but i'm gonna do them at a minimum i'm not gonna flood y'all with them bro i might do it for example say i post one whole week of videos monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i'm gonna drop straight vlogs or whatever saturday and sunday i might drop y'all some dc videos you feel me so yeah man that's how i'm gonna do it bro but yeah man again i'm to this one stop blowing you know what i'm saying god talking to me you feel me but hey man hold on hold on feel good out here too man we gonna keep talking but hey man hopefully y'all enjoyed this video man I just want to come to y'all, chop it up with y'all, man. Let y'all know what's, what was really happening. You feel me? I ain't want to just leave y'all in the blind, bro. Just come back like ain't nothing happening. I'm going to tell y'all the real, bro. I can't get no content out this junk. The school bummy. Dude, so look, man. My camera, man. It said that I ain't had no more space on my camera. I don't even got that much stuff on there, but that just mean I'm going to have to buy a new, uh, a new SIM card. A joint that got more space on it, and I just seen one on Amazon. I had like two hundred some. I'm gonna get. I'm about to. I'm about to buy that joint. So, yeah, man. And the one I got, I think it only got sixty. Sixty. Uh, what's the name? So, yeah, man. But that's why I cut off. So, I'm just let. I'm letting y'all know now. So, yeah, man. That's the end of the video. Ain't really too much to to uh, speak on now. But I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. More videos coming. I love y'all. I'm on the phone, bro. You feel me? And yeah, man. More bags on the way. More money on the way. More videos on the way, more entertainment, bro. I love y'all, and I'm out, man. You talking about fear? I ain't fear nothing but God. And I'm nigga to fear.